All right. I wanted to thank you so much for joining me tonight as we talk about how to combat autoimmune challenges naturally. Um, for those of you that don't know me, I am Tiffany Roberts. My husband and I own a functional medicine clinic called Back to Nature Lifestyle Medicine in Prairie Village, Kansas. And we, we pride ourselves on trying to educate and empower our patients on the knowledge that maybe you're not getting um, from your other doctors. And we try to show you that there are natural ways to not only combat autoimmune challenges, but many other diseases um, that we're faced with in society today. So after today's talk, if you are needing a little bit more further coaching, please visit our website at www.functionalmedicinekc.com and you can book your discovery session and we can um, see if our office would be a good fit for you. So today let's talk about what functional medicine is. Um, functional medicine is often referred to as the future of healthcare, yet it is still widely unknown, and this is what sets this practice apart from the conventional healthcare provided today. So the main differentiating um, principle of functional medicine include the model of personalized care, a focus on the causes of discomfort versus the symptoms, and a deep-seated trust in the individual's body to self-regulate. Your body was created perfectly, and it is not its fault that there is an issue. And we believe that um, your body is telling us something so that we can maybe help it along the way um, to recover. Your body was not meant to have diseases. It was, it was created perfectly. Functional medicine is revolutionizing the medical field by empowering patients to better understand imbalances in their body, how these imbalances affect their health, and the solutions available to support the normal healing mechanisms within their body. Above all, the functional medicine field helps redefine how we think of disease by providing more productive framework to achieve optimal health. So let's define disease. The Merriam-Webster, uh, the, the dictionary, defines disease as a condition of the living animal or plant body or of one of its parts that impairs normal functioning and it's typically manifested, manifested by distinguishing signs and symptoms. So the current healthcare model is, is diseased focused. That's, we all know that. You feel sick, therefore you go to the doctor for the prescription to address the symptoms related to your disease. You are then told you are healed because your cough is gone or your nausea has subsided. Does that sound familiar to you? This is a great for short-term issues as you're able to mask any of your dis discomfort fairly quickly. However, for more long-term issues, this medical mod model fails on addressing the real issues of disease. Functional medicine practitioners, however, recognize that disease is the result of underlying causes, imbalances, and dysfunctions of the various bodily uh, sy symptoms. Um, when thinking of diseases as a result from an issue rather than the issue itself, treat, uh, treatment can be administered in a way that provides long-term relief, promotes sustainable health, and empowers the patient in their individualized healing process. So let's look further into autoimmune here. Autoimmune disorders are diseases of the immune system. They manifest in different ways, but all behave very similarly in the sense that the immune system becomes confused and begins attacking the body's healthy tissues, mistaking them for a foreign invader. So basically it's attacking, it, attacking itself. 
Due to the lack of understanding of these diseases, conventional medicine works to treat the particular organ um, affected rather than viewing them all for what they are, diseases of the immune system. Therefore, there is no unified branch of medicine for these autoimmune diseases. Instead, patients are given referrals to specialists that are trained in a specific organ system. This strategy, of course, brings patients further away from treating their body's immune system, resulting in a vicious cycle. It is common for those that suffer from autoimmune challenges to see a number of specialists for each of their symptoms. Some specialists include rheumatologists, endocrinologists, neurologists, nephrologists, hematologist, gastroenterologist, dermatologist, physical therapist, and more. While these professionals provide an important service and are adequately knowledgeable in their specialty, there is a good chance they are not equipped to address the need of truly supporting the immune system. Autoimmune disorders come in all different forms, including type 1 diabetes, rheumatoid arthritis, lupus, multiple sclerosis, inflammatory bowel disease, Guillain-Barr syndrome, psoriasis, Graves' disease, Hashimoto's, um, vasculitis, the list can go on and on. All of these autoimmune disorders have two things in common. One, the immune system is not functioning properly. And number two, formal diagnosis are required to receive conventional medical treatment. Fortunately, functional medicine doctors do not wait for that label to begin combating autoimmune challenges. We don't believe that you need to be labeled. In the functional medicine model, a functional medicine practitioner takes a holistic approach to healing. We offer comprehensive health assessment and collect numerous data in the forms of maybe personal and family medical history, genetic makeup, urinalysis, saliva testing, blood testing, nutrient profiles, allergy testing, stool analysis, adrenal stress profiles, hormone testing, environmental factors, which plays a huge role, mind-body elements, which is another big aspect, and so many more. Administrating an array of diagnostic tests provides us a greater range of information to best assess any disease in your body. So what are the common causes of autoimmune complications? According to, the functional, according to functional medicine, the most common root causes of autoimmune disorders include, but are not limited to, excess inflammation. We see this all the time. A weakened microbiome. How many times does Dr. Gabe talk about how important our microbiome is? Intestinal permeability. Chronic infections. Oxidative stress, food sensitivities, um, exposure to toxins. We talk about that all the time. While these identified, um, it is easier uh, to assemble an approach to combat these challenges naturally and holistically rather than just temporarily masking the symptoms. So various strategies functional medicine doctors use to battle autoimmune imbalances include, first and foremost, addressing your inflammation. Your dietary changes are very important. Gut healing, supplementation, detoxification, physical activity, infection treatments, stress management, relaxation techniques, um, reducing your self-sabotaging activities that you're, you're doing, um, your environment, the relationships that you have, this all plays a role in um, combating autoimmune disease. So to best be prepared to combat autoimmune complications, it's important to understand the role of inflammation in your body. Inflammation is a vital immune response. We need it. It is the body's attempt to defend itself against pathogens, heal from energy, and repair damaged tissue. 
Chronic inflammation, however, can worsen the body's ability to recognize foreign invaders and put your body on high alert for a prolonged period of time. This can cause lasting damage and the autoimmune response can lead leads to the body's attacking of its own healthy cells. Inflammation can be caused by a number of things, many overlapping with the factors thought to cause autoimmune issues. So the gut microbiome is an ecosystem of organisms, including bacteria, yeast, fungi, parasites, and protozoan throughout the digestive tract. Most importantly, it is a home to 80% of your immune system. An imbalance in the gut bacteria or increased permeability in the intestinal walls, also known as leaky gut, are both known primary causes, if not a prerequisite to the development of autoimmune conditions. These issues contribute to inflammation and in turn worsening the autoimmune responses. Thanks to Jeffrey Bland, a PhD, and his colleagues at the Functional Medicine Institute for the 4R program, um, they developed which um, provides an effective and complete way to address and treat gastrointestinal dysfunctions while achieving optimal health and digestion. So let's talk about those. Number one, the first step to remove possible irritants, including inflammatory foods, toxins, and low-grade infections. There are many ways to recognize the culprits of your discomfort. Food allergies can be determined by skin or blood testing. Food sensitivities is different than food allergies, um, are best identified by taking part in the comprehensive elimination diet. It is uh, recommended to avoid common gastric irritants, such as um, high acid coffee, alcohol, and non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, such as ibuprofen or Tylenol or things like that. Stool analysis can uncover potential infections caused by uh, parasites, yeast, or bacteria. Tests for heavy metals, uh, in your body can be done via the blood, urine, or hair, and even nail analysis. Once uh, you are made aware of these things irritating your body's natural digestion, you can gain gradually, you can begin gradually removing them to allow your body to regain its natural rhythm. We guarantee you will already be, begin feeling the difference after you just complete this first step. So removing all those um, infections and everything plays a huge role. Number two, after you get all of that taken care of, and once you are confident that your antagonizing food are no longer a part of your diet, infections are identified and various toxins are removed, it is time for step two. That's replacement. Step two refers to replacing the factors needed to optimize your digestion, such as digestive enzymes, essential fiber, vitamins, minerals, acids. Digestive enzymes are often found in a pill form and work to enhance digestion, nutrient absorption, and intestinal repair. Your nutrients need to be, are determined by um, lab testing or other testing and provided uh, with your personalized results regarding any vitamin or mineral excess or deficiency. And they can be addressed by diet change or supplementation. Step three is all about restoring the balance of your gut bacteria. A proper balance of healthy bacteria flora in the gut is crucial, crucial for immune activity, mood stability, weight management, uh, disease prevention, uh, communicating bodily changes. So a way to repopulate the much needed healthy bacteria is by including probiotics and prebiotics in your diet. Up next, we will be discussing the differences between pre and probiotics as well as common foods that you can include in your diet to reap the benefits for all of them. So probiotics. 
Um, these are live bacteria found in foods such as yogurt, kefir, sauerkraut, tempeh, miso, kimchi, and kombucha. They promote a healthy balance of bacteria throughout the digestive tract and aid in the battle against many gut-related chronic illnesses. Prebiotics are the, a type of plant fiber and act as food or fertilizer for the probiotic bacteria. In short, prebiotics are needed to help probiotics stay alive and thrive within our systems. Prebiotics can be found in many different foods, such as artichokes, garlic, onion, asparagus, <clears throat> wheat, uh, the non-gluten, the, like the non-GMO wheat, um, apples, and legumes. So the apple a day keeps the doctor away. Step four, the last and most important step of your gut's restoration is the repair. Chronic inflammation and stress can severely compromise the lining of the gut. When not addressed, this leads to further autoimmune challenges and nutrient deficiencies. Eating foods high in zinc, L-glutamine, vitamins A, D, and C, fatty acids, and antioxidants support the immune um, functioning and restoration of your gut. Up next, we will be spot spotlighting how some of the most important nutrients aid in combating autoimmune challenges. So a few of the most important nutrients for those suffering with autoimmune um, include vitamin D. I cannot stress to you how important vitamin D is, and I will probably be doing my dissertation on this with my doctorate degree. Um, most immune cells have vitamin D receptors that can help adjust the balance of immune responses. Additionally, vitamin D has the ability to activate over 1,000 genes in our body. Zinc helps support the thymus gland and the inflammation regulatory cells. So proper zinc levels play a huge role in coordinating the immune system's inflammation reactions. And glutathione is a powerful antioxidant that is especially promotes healthy detoxification of the many irritants that breed inflammation. It's, it also protects the body from oxidative stress and immune dysfunction. And another one is omega-3 fatty acids. An excess of omega-6 fatty acids in the body promotes inflammation. Therefore, it is important to counteract this um, buildup by taking the proper amount of omega-3 fatty acids as well. An imbalance has been proven to be leading cause in systemic inflammation and in turn possible autoimmune complications. So autoimmune complications uh, develop over a period of time, just as the healing process uh, is not completed overnight, as you begin to uncover the causes and make the appropriate lifestyle changes, it is important to implement dietary adjustments to ensure that you sustain your optimal health. For example, if foods such as gluten or dairy were found to be causes of your immune um, inflammation, these may need to be permanently stay, to, to stay out of your long-term eating habits. However, if you once have combated the inflammation and strengthened your immune response, your body may react differently to some foods that were once bothersome. Unfortunately, we cannot give you a specific diet plan as everyone's needs are some um, incredibly different, um, but the comprehensive elimination diet can uncover your body's needs, intolerances, and reactions to certain foods. It's imperative to remain on the elimination diet for at least 21 days and work to repair your gut before beginning uh, to reintroduce any of the foods that may have caused your irritants to begin with. So we are exposed to so many toxins on a daily basis, whether it is pesticides on our food, pollutants in the air, water contamination, or the chemicals in our household products. Our bodies are absorbing, breathing, and ingesting these toxins constantly. In order to reduce this toxic buildup, 
you must prevent exposure to, to detoxing regularly. Prevention methods include water filters. Um, we have reverse osmosis in our house. Air purification systems, organic, non-GMO foods, toxic-free household items, such as your essential oils. Detoxification methods include proper nutrition, ample hydration. You want to have enough hydration so that you can actually get rid of the toxins that you're consuming. Um, fasting, we encourage with every changing of the season to do you know, a little five-day fasting or a weekend fasting. Um, sweating and exercising, these all play a role in detoxification. Stress and disease go hand in hand. When stress is not managed properly or at all, the body takes a load and becomes inflamed and often develops or worsens autoimmune conditions. Everyone manages their stress differently, but here are some ideas that may help. Deep breathing, going for a walk, doing yoga, getting a massage, meditation, creating art, spending time with the loved ones that you love being around, going outdoors. So there's many different ways that you can combat stress. And um, we encourage different ways to do that. Um, if you need a little bit more help with that, let us know. So I wanted to thank you for taking time to um, come out tonight. We are very passionate about sharing this topic with people who are eager to transform their lives and finally achieve optimal health. So if you do have further questions, um, please visit our website at www.functionalmedicinekc.com or call our office at 913-901-0096.